Uh, my name is Ryan Wurst. I'm an artist um, who mostly works in digital, uh, doing animation, programming, and then I'm also a musician. I go by Soul Tangler, P. Sheridan, Bert Gann, lots of pseudonyms, and uh, I also run a record label called Always Human Tapes. This was actually part of, um, so the label that I run, All These Human Tapes, this was part of that, uh, a, we did a like three tape um, cassette book that uh, was in celebration of our 100th tape release, which is a little like crazy, we got to that point, and so I was thinking, I was mostly thinking about what's gonna look good on the cover of these like old vinyl uh, tape books and I started playing around with um, rendering things just as lines versus rendering like in 3D and having it like super fancy and all that and so I started playing with the lines and what things start to look good there and the like very basic geometric shapes look amazing and then like having it turned into quickly into like a zombie apocalypse just coming up with a quick story and playing with the camera movements. Um, actually, this was like, the, this piece did not take, I mean, it took time, but I like, it was one of the like, oh, I have an idea. And that's actually back to technology. If you have an idea and you can like find somebody on YouTube who's gonna tell you how to, it's a 12 year old usually, who's telling you how to do things on YouTube. And so you can figure out how to do most anything. Um, and so I think the like, my interest with technology has always been um, that you're actually, you can do just about anything. You can create worlds. Uh, I tend to think of my art as trying to create a whole world instead of coming from music composition. I was always thinking, oh, I want to be able to like have the whole symphony available to me. Well, with like, all the music tech programs. I can have the whole symphony at all the time. I can get instant feedback and I can start to interact with what I'm making. And so a lot of that, a lot of my art tends to grow and they become worlds. A lot of, I'm, I make a lot of things that are kind of project based versus um, just one-off pieces. So the piece actually here is part of, um, my mouth breathers, uh, they're these like digital zombies who uh, I, I just do hor either horrible or hilarious things to. And they're um, most of the time animated or a lot of that. So I, I see technology as it is a tool, but it's a very, very expansive tool that I can go and be a million different people and I'm never gonna find the bottom of it because it's always gonna change. It's always gonna get uh, more interesting and somebody's gonna come up with something new. things I learned in this piece was dealing with some particle systems. So there's like the explosions and you see the zombies popping up and that was all based around um, this like particle system in the um, software. So to make explosions and now like I'm obsessed with making more explosions and seeing what kinds of renderings I can do out of those explosions. But it's always as like, okay, let's make another piece. The piece is going to be the thing that I want to go, like, I want to do next. Like, I, I don't go back and analyze too much. I go back and I listen and watch pieces and go, 
oh, where the hell did that come from? And then, but then just try to keep moving forward. Mm -hmm.